Coach, most intriguing game this weekend? Well, there's a bunch, but I like, uh, I like Nebraska going to Colorado. I think there's a lot of pressure on Nebraska. People have high expectations. I'm included in that. Um, I don't think they played particularly well, especially on offense. I think defense, they were all over the field. And the one reason I like Nebraska after coaching against them, offensively, a very unique scheme, and I think an excellent quarterback. But defensively, they play that 3-4 defense. They're all over the place. They're very hard to prepare for in one week. And they needed to improve this year on defense from last year, and it looked like in the first game they did. Let's, let's take a look. This is one of the reasons they're very hard to prepare for. I know it's South Alabama, and they do have a talent advantage, obviously. Mm -hmm. But let's take talent out of the equation here. Just look at the scheme. Yeah, this is odd for I. Okay, or a 30 front. That means there's three down linemen, two outside linebackers, and their spacing of the middle linebackers a little on, you know, everything they do is just a little out of the ordinary. Explain to everybody, you said 4i. Explain what that means. Okay, so let's go through this. So you have a zero technique. That's the nose guard in a zero head up on, right the, head up. on the okay. center. Okay. A four technique would be the two defensive tackles head up on the tackle, but got they're it. on the inside shoulder pad. Right. So that's called a four eye. Okay. And then you got two stand up outside linebackers that you could say are seven techniques. Those are, you know, if there was a tight end there, they would be probably head up on a tight end. Okay. Or outside shoulder. So that would be a seven technique, number two and number 22. Also the spacing of the middle linebacker, number seven. You would think that he'd be more in a zero alignment right behind the nose guard. He's not. Now, I would imagine because he's offset with the uh, tailback. Yeah, right. This defense, because there's no double teams, offensive linemen want what? They want that. They, they want, want a help. double team. Right, they right, want help. They right. want two guys to move one. Here, you're fighting leverage with the offensive tackle with the four eye. That's a bad leverage block for the uh, offensive tackle. Your center is in his worst nightmare right now. He's got to snap the ball. So he's got a two-way go on you. Right. So you can see South Alabama's left guard. To our right, their left guard. He's going to come down and help the center. Right. That puts the tackle in a very tough situation. He's got a one-on-one -on -one block with bad leverage. Bad leverage means that he's got to try to get him out of that B gap, but the, but the defense lineman who's doing a really good job with his hands right here, watch him disengage and make this tackle. There's nowhere to go. This right. is You can say this is a... You know, obviously this is not a play you would want to run against this style of defense. Hard maybe for you to tell because it was last year, but th does this look significantly different front seven than a year ago? No, this is this, this is, is what makes it. The, right. the thing is you'll see throughout the game they give you different looks. Right. If you don't practice against this, so like you said, obviously uh, South Alabama can run this play every time. They're not going to get anywhere. There's nowhere to go. Right. Okay, Coach, This is uh, now they move down to three techniques, okay? The defensive ends now moved over the guards. This is the old bear defense that Chicago Bears made famous. You have a zero nose over the center. You have two, three techniques, which give you a little better pass, better pass rush instead of the four eyes. You got number 22 and 31 look like they're going to come after the quarterback here with five-man pressure. Three in inside guys, two outside guys. Obviously a passing situation here for South Alabama. You got man free behind it. Number seven looks like he's an ad blitzer. The tailback looks like he's going to protect, yet he releases. And so seven may may have may missed, missed the assignment maybe, we, or, to, or or number twenty two right, would have to right, peel on him. Right. I would say, knowing this defense, number twenty two should peel on a flare release, and he makes a mistake. I made the comment that Nebraska is very hard to prepare for in uh, in one week. You know, if you have two weeks, or obviously you got the whole summer to prepare for. But the, you saw him play odd four eye. We had the defensive ends and four eyes on the tackle. The next snap, you saw him in bare defense right. or double eagle where they were down over the guards. Uh, and now you're seeing a completely different look. This is even front or four down, okay? And it's a 4-3 style defense. However, even when they play 4-3, look what they've done. They've played head up on the guards. You can't double team a head up player because especially if he goes away from you, at the movement. He's right. a two-way two threat on those two guards. So this is once again what makes these guys, Nebraska, one of the reasons why I'm picking to be a dark horse in the uh, West, I just think they're very hard to prepare for.